From Many Years, Many Worlds by Beth H. Macy. Dear folks, we're starting a new operation in Tel Aviv, which, as I gather, involves flying into Saudi Arabia. Since Alaskan has been flying the Jewish refugees, our C 46 wouldn't be too welcome there. So it has supposedly been leased from Alaska by a new company headed by McGuire as president. If we're to be there for six months or so, Bob is sending for his wife and children, and we'll all see about getting decent living quarters and flying in meat, canned milk, Nescafe, fruit, vegetables, etc., for our own use. This is all provided that Alaska pays Bob and Herb sufficiently high salaries to warrant their staying in a place where living costs are as high as they are in Tel Aviv. It's about 10 cents to have a shirt laundered here. And it's ready for you in a few hours. It's 75 cents to a dollar to have that shirt laundered in Tel Aviv, and if you're lucky, you get it in a few days. A lunch in Hong Kong with fruit cocktails, steak, vegetables, salad, and milk would cost about 75 cents. A lunch in Tel Aviv with potato soup, a bit of fried fish, or veal, potatoes, and cabbage would cost you about two dollars. Some diff. We were going to take advantage of being in a non Jewish community and go to church this morning. But when I called the desk at 10 a.m. to find out about Protestant churches, the only one she knew of was an Episcopalian nearby where the service began at 10 a.m. So Herb has gone to the airport to see how they're coming along on the plane, and I guess our old C 46 is getting a thorough beauty treatment. They're covering the skeleton inside with plush lining. Taking out the bucket seats and putting in two rows of arm seats, and above all, taking out the tiny wobbly can we had in the back for a biffy and mirror. And also, they're going to fix the door to the toilet so it will close down from the inside. It just won't seem like home anymore.